Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing the beauty scenario tag. I've seen this sort of flying around YouTube again. I know that a lot of people did it quite a long time ago, but um, I've never done it. And I saw that a lot of people had started doing it again, so I really wanted to do this tag for you. And it's been a while since I've done a tag, and I really enjoy doing tags. So um, I obviously tag all of you guys to do it as well if you make YouTube videos. And I will put all the questions in the information bar down below as well. So let's just get started. So the first question is, if you had to get rid of all your foundations and you can only keep one high end and one drugstore, which do you keep? Okay, now I don't buy any high end foundations. I have done in the past and a favourite of mine used to be the Estee Lauder Double Wear, although it used to sort of dry my skin out a bit. But um, I would say there's only one foundation I really ever use and it's the Revlon Colour Stay Foundation. I love it. Um, so it would be that one. Number two, you go for an interview and the lady interviewing you has lipstick on her teeth. Do you approach the subject or ignore it completely? In an interview situation, I would never say it. I don't think I'd ever would say it. I just, no, I wouldn't. definitely wouldn't say it. I think if it's like with friends and stuff, you let them know. But when you're in that kind of situation, I think it's just better to like... Instead of picking holes in the person that could possibly give you a job, I wouldn't feel comfortable going, oh, excuse me, like, you have a bit of lipstick on your teeth. No, I'm thinking about it if I've got it. No, I wouldn't do it. Number three, you're not feeling yourself and you need to pick me up. Which lipstick do you put on to make yourself feel beautiful? I don't really have a go-to makeup that's going to be something that's going to make me feel really good. Um, I know a lipstick... To be honest, probably, a, probably the one I'm wearing today, which is the like collection um, number two, I think it is, Pink Shock. And I just felt like putting a really bright lipstick on today. And this probably makes me feel like quite happy. So I'd probably pick that, but if I'm feeling a pick-me-up, a lipstick probably isn't going to be the thing that's going to pick me up. But a bright colour would be the way to go, I think. Number four, you go back in time for a day to your teenage years. How, did you, how would you do your hair and makeup differently? Okay. Well, for a start, I wouldn't wear like a white, like ice lipstick. I can't even believe I ever wore that. And I wouldn't get um, like a bronzer. And I literally used to use that as like my setting powder. So when people sort of lightly dust it over to give a bit of a glow, um, I didn't do that. I was literally sort of like, I might as well have been painting it on. So I was really orange with this white lipstick. It was not a good look. Hair wise, um, I probably wouldn't really change that much. I was quite lucky. I got GHDs when I was quite young. So I used to be able to curl my hair and straighten my hair with them. So I'd probably be okay about it, but I probably would have tried to find better products to make it not be so dry because I straightened it every single day without any heat protection, which is just like, it seems like crazy now, but I, did, I just kept going over and over. I just wanted the straightest hair. I wanted straight hair like Avril Lavigne, like hers was super straight. So I probably would say, that I would go back and make sure I use heat protectant and not like straighten it quite so much. Uh, number five, you ask your hairdresser for a shoulder length pixie lot haircut, but they hear you wrong and give you a pixie cut. Do you A, smile, say thank you, leave and call your mum hysterical, B, cry in the chair and things get awkward, or C, complain to the manager and demand a refund? Um, I think I would do a mixture of all of them. I know I would cry if I saw it immediately, so that would be awkward for her anyway. I would complain and I would definitely not pay. Um, and when I come out, I would call my mum hysterical, like crying. The only thing I wouldn't do is just say smile and thank you because I would not be thankful at all. Number six, your friend, your friend surprises you with a four day city break and you have one hour to pack. Which do it all palette do you pack in your makeup bag? It probably would be my Naked 2 palette. I really like my Naked 2 palette because I can do a smoky eye with it. It's got some lighter colours as well for my skin tone so it suits me better. Um, and I just really love like the colour range in it. So I would just, I'd take my Naked 2 palette. In number seven, your house has been robbed. Don't worry, everything is everything is safe. But your beauty stash has been raided. Which product, product do you really hope is safe? I, I don't know. I'm not... I don't get like... I'm not like emotionally attached to my makeup that I would get upset about it, but I think probably 
foundation because that's what you're going to put on before going out anywhere to go and buy some more makeup. So I probably would think, okay, as long as my foundation's okay, like my skin looks okay, then... Number eight, the final question. Your friend borrows your makeup and returns it in awful condition. Do you A, just pretend you haven't noticed, B, ask them to repurchase it, or C, secretly do the same to theirs? Oh, that's really hard because I wouldn't do any. I would just say... I would just tell them like that they've messed it up and wouldn't let them borrow it again but I wouldn't ask them to repurchase it, I wouldn't pretend it, oh god I would never do it back to them because that's just really petty probably pretend I haven't really noticed and then just not ever let them borrow anything again I would say it's probably what I would do so that, that is all the questions on that tag um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know if any videos you would like me to do um, I think I've got a beauty haul coming up because I've done a little bit too much shopping recently. Yeah. Again, I'm always shopping. And um, I want to do some blog posts and reviews on the products that I've got as well. So hopefully that will be coming up quite soon. So I hope you guys are really enjoying today and you're having a good weekend or a good week. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys. <laughs>